Hello and welcome to VMware vCloud Automation Center 6.0 Basic Multi-Machine Blueprints video. My name is Yves Sanford. I'm the CEO of the ComDivision Group. You can find me on Twitter um, at my Twitter handler at Yves Sanford. Um, this short video is going to cover mainly only the basics of multi-machine blueprints. Um, we will create further blueprint uh, videos on how to create uh, more sophisticated ones, especially in regards to more complex networkings. So stay tuned for those. Um, in the meantime, keep watching, um, in this case, basic multi-machine blueprints. As always, we are going to start by logging into our system. For that, um, open a browser, go to the um, VCAC homepage, and log into the system. Um, again, we are leveraging our VCAC admin user, which is the easiest um, to actually set that up. And then um, the usual password, VMware123Bang, or whatever you set up in your demo or lab environment. So for multi-machine blueprints, they actually offer you the ability to create machine templates, for example, of um, a Windows server, um, which is the database server, and another Windows box, which is the web server, or uh, any kind of other multi-machine scenario. To create one, it's pretty simple. You just say new blue blueprint, multi-machine. And as you can see, the multi-machine blueprint, it doesn't actually ask you for which, which source of machines. So it can also be a combination of a, a vSphere machine and a vCloud machine or something similar. Um, so again, you give it a name, you define a machine prefix to be used, um, how many user, users can create, and the daily cost. The only point here on the daily cost, the daily cost only covers actually how much um, money you charge for the multi-machine. Each individual blueprint will be added as well. So um, add the additional blueprints um, into the system. So these are the machines we want to use in our scenario. And these costs will also be added. So, um, for example, if each machine costs $5 and you set the multi-machine blueprint to $1, then this is going to be $11 in total for, for each um, machine. So once all that is defined, you could also specify additional network scripting and other parameters. We don't need that for our basic scenario. You just um, hit OK and save that uh, multi-machine blueprint and then the process is basically like what you have seen for the other blueprints before you basically um, go to the um, catalog and um, yeah first you publish it and uh, then you go to the catalog management under administration and add that machine to the entitlement also as this is a different type of machine you will need to actually add a few more actions to the system which um, can then be leveraged by vcac for that so um, again we click on manage catalog items you hit plus um, you define which machine we are going to leverage here so that's going to be our multi-machine template and then you go to the entitlements and specify in which actual machine or in which specific system we are going to uh, leverage that. So go into our development users, um, click on items and approvals, and under um, entitled catalog items, add the newly created machine. So again, this is our multi-machine service over here specify that one, hit OK, and then also specify the action we want to have. So in that case, that's the um, add components and destroy for multi-machine services. Hit OK and update, and from now on these machines can be leveraged by the development users. So let's check that. Go to the catalog tab. You can see the new multi-machine ex example has been added to the system. Um, you can now start requesting individual machines for that one. So for that, hit um, 
request on it, but we are going to change the approach here. We are going to do that for the development users. So in our case, uh, we are going to switch the um, service catalog to development users and run it from over here. So within the development user, we are going to um, run this. So this is because we are a group manager. It would apply the same for a support user. They could actually do the same and um, run over that. But um, yeah, this is just to show how you could act as a different user. You can see above that there is the template and how much each machine costs and what the structure is. Um, you specify all the necessary parameters, click Submit, confirm it, and if we switch over to the Request tab, we can now actually see that the machine request is in progress. That usually takes a while, and once it's successful, um, the machine has been created, and we can basically um, use it from there. Also, you can take a look at the um, vSphere structure. In our case, you can see that it actually created the machine and you see that it created two machines for this one. And um, that is basically as intended. There is also a gap in the numbering you could see. There was DEF02 and 3 and 4, uh, whereas DEF02 is not a machine, that's the multi-machine service template as well. Thank you for watching this small video, um, VMware vCloud Automation Center 6.0, basic multi-machine um, hypervisor blueprints. Um, and my name is Eve Sanford. Um, I'm the CEO of the Comdivision Group. You can find me on Twitter at my Twitter handle at Eve Sanford or drop me an email at y.sanford at comdivision.com. Thank you and keep watching.